All right, guys, this is the track force quick tutorial. Um, I just want to go over some things as far as um, how to use it, what I'm looking for as far as um, reports and documentation, um, certain things like that. So this is the home screen. Um, you've all been given your login and password. Um, when you come to start your roving patrol or your um, your general shift, um, you got to start start the shift. So at the very top left, you see the big start button. Um, you click that. Ask me if I want to start, start shift, done. Now I've clocked in um, on, on the, the track for software. And again, that this is important because it consolidates and, and makes it um, very easy to pull the reports for that particular shift. Um, from there, um, you go to the tour section. So you go to tours, start whatever tour that you're gonna, whatever post you're at. So this was uh, the Tuscany site, just as an example. I click on that, hit start. Um, Sometimes before you start, there'll be some notes that will update as far as um, maybe from the previous shift or, or some important notes that are updates. Uh, make sure to read those before you start. Um, on the home screen, you can see that these are all the tour locations. Um, they're very specific as to where they are. And um, these link to the map, um, which is in the back end software, and actually um, will basically take a time and attendance for you. and. Um, um, you know, very important at some of the sites just to know that you're um, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing as far as tours and the requirements. Every tour um, is uh, is different as far as its requirements. Um, at the top left, you can see the minimum amount needed for a complete tour. Obviously, there's a lot more than nine here. Um, as soon as you complete the nine, but you really should actually um, complete them all, um, it'll allow you to end the tour um, successfully. So. Um, but for the entire shift, I want these tours to be up and running. Um, when you scan the tour tags, um, this example isn't linked to the software, so it's going to show up as un unidentified, but um, I'll be able to use it as an example as far as putting in documentation. Um, when I scan the tag, oops. okay, unknown tag came up because it's not identified and specific to um, this site. Um, from here, um, I can put a DAR entry, so I could either go in and text um, and put um, there's nothing, um, or I'm checking in at the clubhouse, and maybe at this particular time, um, alarm has been set and doors have been locked. Very important. Close that out and then save. And then you can also include a picture or a video. So in this case, I'll take a picture of me doing this. We could pretend that this is the door that I locked or the alarm that I set. Um, yes, include that, save. And I can also upload a video if need be. Um, and it's very important to put as much content in here to you know kind of paint the picture as to what was going on during the tour. Um, without it, I just see a bunch of checkpoints and times, but that doesn't really, um, you know, clearly explain what's going on. Um, I know some posts are, are more challenging and there's a lot more activity than others. Um, but as far as um, showing value, because these are sent to the clients every day, it's very important that you're inputting as much as you can um, so that you're making yourself look good and you're making the company look good. Um, now, within the tour, you can get to all your reports and uh, put in other DARs even without scanning the tag um, periodically while you're on post. So maybe you're in the gatehouse or um, you're just roving around and there aren't any particular checkpoints. You can go and click the DAR entry, um, click the DAR. And then again, it has the same thing as far as um, word documentation, video, photos, anything like that. Um, let me cancel out of here. Uh, there's also, you have access to all the reports. Um, no matter what, uh, parking violations being huge. So we're going to look at those real quick. Um, this one, again, is specific to Tuscany. Parking violations, click on that. Start. Anytime you're, you're filling out a parking violation or, or ticketing a vehicle, this should be done. It'll walk you through it. It'll put all the information in there. And again, this is documentation to make sure that we're covered in the event that that um, vehicle or the vehicle owner in question says that we are in the wrong. It's only, um, it only helps us and it looks very good and professional, we need to do it every single time. Um, so again, it walks you right through it. Location, you know, put the location, whether it be the building number or um, uh, the um, garage number, or if, if there's just parking spots, use the parking spots, you can put that in. So maybe this is um, building one.
Oops. Go back to that. Start location. Building one. Looks like. Oops. Sorry, guys. Can't spell today. Building one. Save. Maybe it's on the second level. Level two. Then I get the vehicle information. Make, model, color, state of registration. Take a picture of the license plate. Click on this. It'll ask you to put something in. Just hit save. And then you can um, actually have the ability to go take a picture. So let's just pretend that um, this is my license plate number. Okay, save. And even with the, the make, model, and vehicle, um, you can take a picture as well. Even though none of these require it, you can say, okay, maybe it's a red Cadillac, and you can take a picture. Uh, make sure to put the other um, information in there as well. Um, the decal number, if it's um, like a registered vehicle within the community, maybe they're parked in the wrong spot or it's, uh, it's expired, make sure to take that picture as well. Um, and then violation, um, whether it be um, you pick the violation, and then this is the actual um, – I guess, occurrence as to why you're even doing the parking violation. Uh, maybe they're blocking the roadway or they're parked overnight being a guest or, or, or whatever. There's, you know, there's all sorts of situations and things um, which could condone it. So, um, again, very important. We're going to say they were parked overnight. And then ticketed or towed. Make sure to put, um, if you ticketed, um, yes, set. And then you could even put in there how many times. Um, okay, save. And then after that, you're done. Hit save. Then it's all nice and neat and within the tour, um, and and you can continue on with with your uh, your shift. Um, other reports, um, visitor check-ins or ID checks. You can go and um, quickly check a resident's ID. It says you know in the pool area, please make sure to check everyone's ID. You can hit start. Um, you can hit all the residents you need. So resident save again. Picture. Yohandi, Mr. Mr. Resident, save that. And again, this documentation is great because it will cover us. So you've got the picture of Yohani. Let's say he has three guests. Has three guests. That way, if, if any board members or whomever says, why were those three people in the pool? Well, now we've linked that those three people were with Yohani, who happens to be a resident. So we did our job. Um, again, very, very, very important. Um, there's some other ones here as far as, you know, as far as decals, there's incident reports, um, all are pretty self-explanatory. And, um, again, the more content, more information you can put in here, the better guys. Um, so we'll go back, um, make sure to complete the tour. If you don't complete the tour, um, with, meaning all the checkpoints, um, when you try to exit, it'll say you're missing some, please explain why. Um, maybe you're missing some. If there are tour tags missing, I need to know. So missing gate house tag. Done. So that way it's communicated to me. I can replace it and put it back on the tour so you can finish it. Hit OK. That'll finish. Now, um, on this page, say at the start of the shift, there's a logbook button right here. You can go through the logbook and you can see all of the entries from previous shifts. So maybe there are some issues and you want to look, um, you can go and look at all the DAR entries as far as if there was a parking violation or, or whatever have you, so that you can accurately track and identify how many times we've ticketed a vehicle. Um, I'm trying to find a parking violation to show you guys. Um, and this is a good way for you as officers to communicate to each other, uh, making sure you have detailed reports that they can quickly pull up from the previous shift um, and kind of review what, what went down, especially if it, it's um, a site where there's only one shift a day. Um, very, very useful thing for you guys. Um, real quick, if you go into this button right here, the menus button, um, it has some other features as far as settings and things. If I ever, if I ever ask you to uh, synchronize your settings, uh, that's at the bottom there. And uh, again, there's a lot more options in there. Um, as always, guys, Thanks for joining me here. Uh, if you ever have any questions on track for us, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm uh, more than willing to help out. Um, feel free to watch this video and um, stay tuned for more updates with uh, different company policies, procedures, hardwares, and softwares. Um, hopefully, it's going to be your one stop shop for everything aero security. Um, love you. Thank you. And talk to you soon.